Hey guys, um, this could actually maybe be the last video I ever record for you, which is kind of nuts. So today we are starting our passion project in every block, one, two, three, four. Um, all Enviro kids are doing this. For everybody, it is due Tuesday, June 9th, and you pretty much have the next three weeks to work on it. Okay, so basically here's here's what it's about. Um, you are pursuing something that you have interest in, you want to know more about, you're passionate about, hence the name. Um, anything that you're going to remember 10 years from now, five years from now, even a year from now, Mrs. Stroik and I want this to be meaningful and like authentic and not just like a hoop that you jump through. So like pick something that you like. Okay. So basically here's what you need to decide. What are you going to do? Who are you going to do it with? So you can work alone and you're, or you can work with other people. So I'm going to briefly walk through some options, but then give you some more ideas too. Cause there really is no scripted project that you have to do. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so look at the keep in mind as we go through. Take it seriously, work conscientiously. This um, is going to end up being 100 points in the grade book. Just for reference, the FRQs that I'm halfway through grading are 40 points. So this basically determines your letter grade, I guess is what I'm saying. It can drop you, it can raise you. Um, Thursday and part of Friday, do some exploring, do some researching. Um, once you've kind of decided, stick with it or you're going to waste some time. <clears throat> if there's a presentation part of your project, we're going to have to do like a Zoom or a Google or something like that. And you'll have to recruit some friends to present to. Um, please realize that it would be to your advantage to kind of keep a diary of how it's going and what's going well and what's not. You will individually have to submit a reflection component of your project. Each person will, even if you're working in a group, okay? If you decide to work in a group, please choose your people wisely. We know that in virtual learning, some of us have checked out more than others. Um, so even though people might be your friends, they might not be your best choice to work on this project with. You have this rubric in front of you at your disposal from day one. It's broken down into professionalism and work habits. So there will be some like Google Forms to submit and there will be one virtual check-in with your teacher, with one of us, if you're working cross class, which is allowed. Creativity, like if you're just doing a PowerPoint, you're probably not gonna get 19 or 20 points. Your individual reflection and summary and then basically like what are your Enviro concepts? Can you make a Minecraft world? Yeah, but it better include like types of mining and types of soil and that kind of thing. Okay, that counts double. So that's where the 100 points come from. So real basic, here are some ideas if like you're having trouble generating ideas and then obviously you can choose your own and check in. So the first one's a multimedia presentation. Um, you're looking at basically a singular concept, finding it in a movie, in song lyrics and in literature, and then following the steps presented there, okay? You can do it individually. You can do it with a partner. I don't have very many people choose this one. When I have, it's turned out really cool. But there definitely has to do, like, there has to be some digging involved. Number two, you can run an experiment. Um, there's plenty of experiments out there that we had, that we, like, didn't run. There's a really cool one about, like, net primary productivity and, like, growing grass and drying it out. And there's lots of stuff you can do if you just Google it. Um, obviously you provide the materials, you'd have to get that started sooner that, rather than later. Um, and you can do it with another partner or two other people. We would follow the mini poster rubric, by the way, for that one. Like you, you'd pick, you'd make a mini poster or a virtual mini poster. Um, number three, I think would be the toughest one. And we talked about taking it out, but we left it. That's the citizen initiative. That's like volunteering. I still think you can find ways to volunteer even while keeping safe with social distancing guidelines. Um, if you're really passionate about activism, like I know some of you are, um, that one would fall under that category. Number four is a guest speaker. Some of you have family members that are like environmental engineers or involved in the DNR or have stories to tell or places they've been. We would love to hear from them. So typically this would be an all class experience. 
Um, but if you could get your guest speaker and schedule a phone call, a virtual phone call face to face with me and a handful of students, that would be what that looks like this year. There is a component for this one that is a one to two page summary of what the speaker talked about. And then also there should be some sort of interactive activity that you make like a Kahoot for the kids or something like that. Okay. So that depends on if you have connections or not. Option five, which a lot of people choose is a public service announcement. This is like a video. Like, hey, let's learn about littering or climate change or anything you want. Um, a lot of people do this in a bigger group. It says max of three people. I've had bigger groups like up to six and we just kind of like double all the content. So sure, you can work with six people across class but then your video needs to be longer and you need to hit on more concepts or you need to do like two videos or something like that. I'd like to stress that for this one, the content must be school appropriate. I'm gonna say that again. The content must be school appropriate and have enough content to be considered, okay? So you're educating kind of like the future. Um, we'd show it to some of your peers. Another option, especially those that wanna be teachers in the future, is designing kind of like a lesson plan. Um, I'm sure if you reached out to some elementary school teachers that you had and say that like you wanna record a lesson or you wanna like run a craft or shoot a video and show the kids something environmental, that would be fantastic. Okay, you've seen how I do my videos. I'm sure you can do better. We're gonna skip that one because it doesn't apply this year. And then the last option is like whatever you want. I've had people create um, Phenomenal art projects that mural in the hallway that you see was a passion project last year. I had somebody build a model of an environmentally friendly theater. Um, we've had, I had somebody publish a children's book last year and actually get it printed. We had newspaper articles. Um, I've had, I had somebody start an environmentally friendly Instagram and they're posting daily with facts and like getting feedback and interacting with their followers. We've had a lot of people do the food route. So like you order or go shopping for some food and you do like a cooking show and you obviously we can't taste your food, but you can cook for us and show us um, local vegan like there's all kind of cool things out there. So if you have an idea, the answer is probably yes. We just need to make it work. OK, so start brainstorming. I want this to bring you energy. I want this to get you excited. Start thinking about who you're going to work with and um you should decide by Friday, May 20, nope, Thursday. I think I said that wrong in the beginning. We're gonna roll it out on Wednesday and then by the end of the day, Thursday, we'd like to know kind of your basics, all right? Hope you are staying well and AP exams aren't too stressful and the test went well. Bye.